Hey, good afternoon and welcome once again back to the shop here at New Traditions Dulcimers and the Wabash Ukulele Company right here in beautiful Somerset, Indiana. Out in the middle of the corn fields and the soy fields, it's another gorgeous uh, end of summer type of day here out on the homestead. I haven't been with you for a while and thought I'd give you an update of what's going on here at Wabash Ukulele Company specifically. I've been building a bunch of sub-assemblies uh, to get ready for Christmas. Our Christmas rush usually begins around October and ends sometime about January 15th or something like that. So we, we build a lot of ukuleles for that, uh, for that season specifically. So on my bench today, I've, got, I've, been, I've built up 10 sub-assemblies of, of ukuleles and today I just got them serialized. Um, this is a, a soprano. And this will be serial number 262. And I keep everything as orderly as I possibly can with the serial numbers. It, it helps me to remember where I'm at and uh, it helps the customer order if they want a specific serial number. That always works as well. Now these are solid mahogany back and sides. And this is that, that mahogany that we got back in California that was wide enough to do uh, tenor backs. It's not wide enough to do baritone backs but it's wide enough for one piece tenors. But this is solid mahogany, back and sides. And on these guys, this is 262, 261, um, 259, <laughs> oh my, 260 and 258. And for these guys, for the, for the Sopranos, what I'll do is one will get this beautiful Port Orford cedar top. And again, my, my iPhone camera just doesn't do justice to, for the beauty of these Port Orford Cedars. Another one will get this amazing straight grained Alaska Sitka Spruce from a billet that I got a while ago. This is just an incredibly tight, old, dry uh, Alaska Sitka Spruce. These are all still Sopranos. And here's another uh, billet, another soundboard of Sitka Spruce and I like this one because of the uh, the lines that go through it. This one is just the straight grain, nice and clear. But this one's got some color in it. And what else? And we've got another uh, another two will be Port Orford Cedar and Port Orford Cedar. So we'll have five Sopranos, three with Port Orford cedar tops and two with Alaska Sitka spruce tops. And again, they're all solid body, um, solid mahogany, solid but wood. But these There's are all no handmade. One ukulele at a time, even though I've got 10 on the, on the bench, w they will be assembled one at a time. And all the necks will be hand carved by me, made out of mahogany. No, again, no CNC stuff. It's all done here, right here on the homestead in Somerset, Indiana at uh, New Traditions Homestead, the home of Wabash Ukulele Company. Here's one of our tenors. This is number 253 for Wabash Ukulele. And this is, again, that mahogany that we got back in California that is was wide enough for me to do single piece backs. I love this wood. It, it has a really nice, uh, the only word I can come up with is a chunky sound. It's got a real great strum sound, especially if you're using your index finger, fingernail. It's just incredible the, the chunk that you can get out of these, uh, these bodies. Um, this is number uh, 253 and gosh, what a nightmare. Here's 254. And we just put the serial, just serialized them this morning with our Wabash Ukulele uh, Company serial tags looks a little bit like that 255 and these guys these five tenors isn't there a singing group called the five tenors these tenors will have Alaska Sitka spruce for one beautiful straight grain dry great wood here's another Alaska Sitka spruce that is a little bit wider grain which will give it a little bit mellower sound. And then here's another straight grain, really narrow, beautiful. 
beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Alaska Sitka spruce. And I got a billet of, of this wood. Um, gosh, almost, well, again, we, we, was, we were still in California when we got this wood. And then I just resaw it and uh, uh, make it into to soundboards. Then I also have this beautiful western red cedar that will go on two of these mahogany back inside ukuleles. Western red cedar, uh, straight from Oregon, and another western red cedar. And what I'll do when I get my my billets of wood, I resaw them. And this will kind of give you an example of what I what we mean. <laughs> this is a smaller piece, but but I'll, I'll resaw the billet on my bandsaw into smaller pieces that work as um, then we book match them, of course, and that works as a a great soundboard for um, ukuleles. And I use it on my dulcimers as well. So that's what's going on here at the ukulele, Wabash Ukulele Company. There's some really cool things happening as well on the sidelines at uh, Wabash Ukulele Company. Um, but this is, again, handmade one at a time right here in the shop on the New Traditions Homestead um, in Somerset, Indiana. Ten. Five tenors and five sopranos on track for um, for Christmas. And what I'll do with these as well is the the rosettes around the sound hole will um, all be, I believe, they'll all be radiused uh, rosettes, which they're the rosette is is handmade. I'll I'll put a picture right here of the uh, radius rosettes that I do. And there will be another fancy rosette which I'll put a picture right there about that one. But they'll all be sectional, um, radial rosettes. You'll, you'll see what I mean when you look at the pictures. One might even have a, uh, an offset rosette on it. Depending on how talent that I, I get during the, the cuttings of the rosettes. So that's it. Five tenors and five sopranos. Uh, Wabash Ukulele Company in Somerset, Indiana from New Traditions Homestead where things are happening here. We're actually beginning to put our garden to bed, if you can believe that already. Something that you never did in California, but um, we're doing it here. We've had a great garden this year. Our chickens are producing well. Um, Good things are happening. We're ready, actually ready for fall and kind of looking forward to winter uh, when I can wear my sweaters instead of my Wabash ukulele t-shirts. Um, looking forward to a great, great 2022. I hope you are too. It's gonna be a fantastic, fantastic year. A great end to 2021 and a, a, just an amazing 2022 with all that's happening. Wabash ukulele company. Right there, that's what it says. These are some of the tenors. I have some other custom tenors with, with uh, different types of woods, a little bit more exotic, still domestic, of course, and still recycled or reclaimed woods. But um, I've, I've got three or four of those that I, I haven't got the subassembly built up yet. All the necks are, are hand carved right here by me. All the, as you can see, everything is put together right here ready for your Christmas by now. All of these 10 will probably start in the 450 range without case and of course without shipping. And about shipping, I want to just let you know that shipping costs have just skyrocketed for us. Where we used to be able to send an instrument for $35, recently we paid $70 to get an instrument down to Oklahoma, which is like a stone's throw from Indiana. So shipping costs have just skyrocketed for us and for everybody else if you're in in the west in california washington and oregon especially california the shipping costs are are dreadful because of all the taxes that the state puts on shippers and the trucks that come in and go out um, and the gasoline taxes and all that stuff it's just been it's been a nightmare for us since january 2021 shipping prices have just skyrocketed for us so please um, 
bear with us on that. There's not a whole lot that I can do about it. Um, we will continue to ship USPS and UPS. Uh, we try not to ship FedEx, but um, those two are our shippers of choice. We try to try to bring people the best instrument for the uh, the best price, and so far we've been doing that. So, I want to thank you all for joining me this afternoon in the shop at at Wabash Ukulele Company here at New Traditions Homestead, and uh, we look forward to, to hearing from you again. Five tenors and five sopranos on the bench today. They've all been serialized and they are being uh, ready to get the soundboards with the rosettes cut and the installed and the soundboards put on and the necks and then the, the bridges and the strings and it'll be an instrument soon. Now these are all dated by the way. All of these 10 are dated October 2021. So I'm being optimistic that they will all be completed by the end of October. Uh, that's my prayer. Once again, Lord bless you guys. Thanks for joining me, and we'll see you next time. Lord bless you all.